Chappelle has our backs, gorilla, rocket, gemstone, palms up together. Wayne Brady going to make a quick stop to get us more dollars to buy GME. Is Wayne Brady going to have to choke someone? Eat your sandwich, Dave. I make Brian Cumble look like Malcolm X, huh mother effa? My mother-in-law loves you. Run, bitch. Run for your life. Dave, I didn't know you like to get wet? Sherman Hemsley. Well guess what? She ain't never going to know about it. Gimme your sandwich Dave. Gimme your sandwich. Is Wayne Brady going to have to squeeze a short? Don't drop that crap. I don't know if you realized but you can say bitch on the internet. It's been a while since I've seen it, are we still doing the you can say bitch here thing? It's a Chappelle skit for F's sake, it's disrespectful to censor here. I'm genuinely curious as to what the last word in that sentence is. Wayne Brady's got the, gemstone, folded hands. Instructions not clear, Wayne Brady used his diamond hard grip to choke a bitch. Eat your sandwich Melvin. The mother effer bought some yellow cake. Don't drop that crap. Pray to God you don't drop that she. I got this special CIA napkin. Don't. Drop. That. Crap. Effin right. Pray. You don't drop that crap. I won't I got it on top of this top secret napkin you see. Cradle of effing civilization. Cradle of effing civilization. Holla 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 holla. Effin right. Yellow cake. Aluminum space rocket tubes, aluminum, rocket. Do you know what a mother effer could do with some aluminum tubes? Build incubators that throw themselves on the floor? No, natural women already do that. This is the way. Crap that reminds me I got to get building before my husband's boyfriend gets home. Solid DD right there. I'm in. Evan right. Pray to God he don't drop that crap. I know what to do with it. Pray to God you don't drop that crap. I got it wrapped up in a special CIA napkin. That and oil? Bitch you cooking? Are two of my top 420 favorite Chappelle show lines. Evan right. Oil? Bitch you cooking? Go on get out of here. Straight from the cradle of civilization. Cradle of effing civilization. Mr. President are you sure it's yellow cake? Yes I'm sure, bitch. That's why I got it wrapped up in this special CIA napkin. I never understood the reference to yellow cake, what's the meaning of it? Versus yellow cake. Web link. Recipe detected. Commenting easy to read instructions, yellow birthday cake ingredients. 2 and 1 quarter cups, 260 grams, cake flour, spoon and leveled. 2 teaspoons baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon baking soda. Half teaspoon salt. 1 cup, 2 sticks, 230 grams, unsalted butter, softened to room temperature. 1 and 3 quarters cups, 350 grams, granulated sugar. 2 large eggs, plus, 2 additional egg yolks, room temperature and separated, see note. 2 teaspoons pure vanilla extract. 1 cup, 240 milliliters, buttermilk. 1 eighth teaspoon cream of tartar. 1.25 cups, 2.5 sticks or 290 grams, unsalted butter, softened to room temperature. 3 to 4 cups, 360 to 480 grams, confectioner's sugar. 3 quarters cup, 65 grams, unsweetened cocoa powder, natural or Dutch process. 3 to 5 tablespoons, 45 to 75 milliliters, heavy cream, or half and half or milk, at room temperature. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon pure vanilla extract. Optional for decoration, sprinkles. 
Instructions Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 177 degrees Celsius. Grease two 9-inch cake pans, line with parchment paper rounds, see number 6 in cake baking tips, then grease the parchment paper. Parchment paper helps the cake seamlessly release from the pans. I recommend using non-stick spray for greasing. Whisk the cake flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt together in a large bowl. Set aside. Using a handheld or stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, beat the butter and sugar together on high speed for 3 full minutes. The creamed butter and sugar will be extra creamy. Scrape down the sides and up the bottom of the bowl with a rubber spatula as needed. Turn the mixer down to medium high speed and beat in the 4 egg yolks one at a time, letting each egg yolk fully mix into the batter before adding the next. Beat in the vanilla extract until combined. Set aside. Add about one-third of the dry ingredients and half of the buttermilk and beat on low speed until combined. Add one-third more of the dry ingredients and the rest of the buttermilk and beat on low speed until combined. Add the rest of the dry ingredients and beat on low speed until combined. The batter is very thick. You may need to whisk it all by hand to make sure there are no lumps at the bottom of the bowl. Using a handheld or stand mixer fitted with a whisk attachment, beat the egg whites and cream of tartar together on high speed until fluffy peaks form about 3 minutes. See photo and video above for a visual. Slowly and gently fold the egg whites into the thick cake batter. Avoid over mixing as you don't want to deflate the egg whites. Puer slash spoon batter evenly into cake pans. Bake for around 27 to 31 minutes or until the cakes are baked through. After about 18 minutes, tent the cakes with aluminum foil to prevent the tops and sides from over browning. To test the cakes for doneness, Insert a toothpick into the center of the cake. If it comes out clean, it's done. The cakes may look a little spongy on top as a result of the whipped egg whites. That's normal, allow cakes to cool completely in the pan set on a wire rack. The cakes must be completely cool before frosting and assembling. With a handheld or stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, beat the butter on medium speed until creamy, about 2 minutes. Add confectioner's sugar, cocoa powder, heavy cream, salt, and vanilla extract. Beat on low speed for 30 seconds, then increase to high speed and beat for one full minute. Do not over whip. Add one quarter cup more confectioner's sugar or cocoa powder if frosting is too thin or another tablespoon of cream slash milk if frosting is too thick. Taste. Add more salt if needed. I usually add another pinch. If cooled cakes are domed on top, Use a large serrated knife to slice a thin layer off the tops to create a flat surface. This is called leveling the cakes. Discard or crumble over finished cake, or on ice cream. Place one cake layer on your cake stand or serving plate. Evenly cover the top with frosting. Top with second layer. If desired, if the edges seem extra crumbly, apply a crumb coat which is a thin layer of frosting all over the cake. You can see I did this in the video tutorial above. Refrigerate the crumb-coated cake for 15 minutes before adding the rest of the frosting, spread remaining frosting all over the top and sides. I always use an icing spatula and or a bench scraper for the frosting. Garnish with sprinkles, if desired. For extra neat slices, refrigerate cake for 30 to 60 minutes before slicing. This helps the cake hold its shape when cutting. Cover leftover cake tightly and store at room temperature for up to one day or in the refrigerator for up to five days. Click here to original source, web link. Incredible bot. Amazing. Good bot. Great bot. I just wish this bot would include a six page story about how yellow cake reminds them of grandma. I wish it had included the recipe to yellow cake uranium. 1. Get some hydrogen. 2. Compress using a supernova. Sold this to North Korea for 1.8 billion. Apparently this was not the yellow cake they were wanting. I'm in hiding now. Thanks bot. Edit, my first award. Thanks so much, smiley face. Best bot. Good bot. The bestest bot. Best bot. Good bot. Japan's, sending PlayStation. Who said something about oil bitch? You cooking? YouTube link. I don't get the reference instructions was unclear bought more GME. 
oil. Did you cook him? Who said anything about oil? Go sell some medicine bitches, I'm trying to get this oil o cough. Don't like it UN? Then sanction me. Sanction me with your army. Oh you don't have an army? Guess that means you need to shut the f up that's what I would do I ain't have an army. I'd shut the f up, microphone, shut, microphone, the, microphone, f, microphone, up. You may speak 16 different languages, but you go and need every one of them when you in Times Square selling fake hats. I know Gucci when I see it, I'm rich. It was even crazier when White Bush did it unironically. You smell like french fries. Wu-Tang Financial CEO Old Dirty Chinese Restaurant I did not see that pit coming. CPA Waka Flocka I wish Waka Flocka had been on Chappelle like those others. He would have been perfect. You got to diversify your bonds. Red Rocks Yay yay Wu-Tang is for the children. You got to diversify your bonds man. An option is temporary, a stock is forever, gemstone. The Asian delegation selects, Wu-Tang Clan. Smith Barney? Bunch of bitches. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.